Welcome. In this video, let's use our knowledge of simultaneous equations to solve part of a challenging ACCA performance management question. Let me zoom in on the graph that we find in the middle of the question. On this graph, I have the equations for two production constraints graphed. We're talking about a business that produces suits, garments. One of the constraints is the time of the tailors. The other constraint is the quantity of fabric that we have available. And the intersection of these two lines, point B, is my profit maximizing production plan. So I've got to solve for B. If we look further into the question, we can find a section where the constraints are listed. There's the tailor time equation. There's the fabric equation. And we can see that each equation has two variables. We've got a W and an L, which refer to two product types in this question. So the upper equation, we see 7W plus 5L less than or equal to 3,500. The lower equation, we've got 2w plus 2l less than or equal to 1,200. Let's use simultaneous equations to simplify these and then solve for w and l. I've extracted those two equations and as you see, I have replaced the W and the L with the more familiar variables of X and Y to represent the two unknowns. What I'm going to do is subtract one equation from the other. And to do that, we've got to set one of the variables, either the X or the Y, to be identical in both equations. So I am now looking at these numbers and I say, wow, if I multiply this one by 2.5, the two becomes a five, doesn't it? So I'm gonna multiply both sides of the equation by 2.5. And then we will have five X, plus 5y is equal to 3,000. Let's imagine that's not there now. And we can now subtract the bottom equation from the top equation. 7 minus 5, well, that will be 2. So that will be 2x plus 5 minus 5 is 0. 0y, zero so 0y is equal to 0. That will be equal to 500. Now, the, the y is out of there. So now we know that 2x is equal to 500. If we divide both sides by 2, we know that x is equal to 250. And we can put that 250 into either equation, and we're going to get the same y. So let's plug the 250 right into here. 7 times 250 plus 5y is equal to 3,500. We can do the math. 7 times 250, well that's going to be 1,750 plus 5y is equal to 3,500. If I subtract the 1750 from the 3,500, we get 5y is equal to 1,750. So we divide both sides by 5, and we then get y is equal to 350. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that's how we can use simultaneous equations to solve for two unknowns when we are given two equations. With that knowledge, we can now move into paper PM and we can solve a variety of problems. For example, we can find a profit maximizing production plan when we are given a list of constraints, for example, a shortage of materials and a shortage of labor.